Welcome to Digital Electronics Experiment Lecture Series. Today, I'll be going to show you 3-bit synchronous counter using multi-sim software. So, let us take a component first. So, first, go to Miss Digital. Then, go to TDL. And here, we get T flip flop. After that, we need AND get. After that, we need digital source. So go to source, then go to digital source. And here we get interactive digital constant. After that, to apply the frequency at input side of T flip flop, we need a function generator. So here we get function generator. To observe the output, we need oscilloscope. So here we get four channel oscilloscope. To copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. So here first we connect this all components to make a three bit synchronous counter. Here we connect function generator's positive terminal at clock and common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then go to power source, and here we get ground. Now we connect oscilloscope A channel at input clock B channel at output Q1 C channel at output Q2 and D channel at output Q3 here we give digital 1 to this T flip flop and we apply 500 hertz frequency in square wave form at input clock. So now our all the setup of 3 bit synchronous counter is completed. The video based on theory of the circuit is already made in digital electronics playlist so let's simulate this circuit for simulation click on run and double click on oscilloscope here first we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen so we get clear idea about the output so here we can see that the first waveform is input clock the second waveform is output Q1, the third waveform is output Q2, and the fourth waveform is output Q4. Here we can see that at each and every clock, the state of the synchronous counter is changed. So here we can see that in the first clock, Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 0, and Q3 equal to 0. In next clock, Q1 equal to 1, Q2 equal to 0, Q3 equal to 0. In next clock, Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 1, Q3 equal to 0. In next clock, Q1 equal to 1, Q2 equal to 1, Q3 equal to 0. In next clock, Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 0, Q3 equal to 1. In next clock, Q1 equal to 1, Q2 equal to 0, Q3 equal to 1. In next clock, Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 1, and Q3 equal to 1. In next block, Q1 equal to 1, Q2 equal to 1, Q3 equal to 1. In next block, again Q1 equal to 0, Q2 equal to 0, and Q3 equal to 0. So here we can say that at each and every clock, 3 bit synchronous counter change the state from 0 to 7. 
I hope you get clarification about three bit synchronized counter. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video, then write on comment box. I'll be definitely try to solve your queries.